Myrtle Beach in Sagasti, the Friday night rivals game of the week between these two old rivals and we'll head out to the highlights, show you what happened and here we go. Despite the weather, and it did play a huge factor. The Braves looking to tie it up after Myrtle Beach took a 3-0 lead, but as you see there, the ball scampers away. Parker picks it up. You're not going to catch that young man. He's going to house it. That right there put the Seahawks, the number one team in the state, up 10 to nothing. Luke Doty going off. Little screen here to J.J. Jones and the former Sockestee Brave who transferred to Myrtle Beach. Well, he tells his former team, I'm just going to go ahead and take this one to the house. That was just the beginning of a very good day for J.J. Jones and for the Myrtle Beach Seahawks because right before the half, Doty hits Jones again. Going up, you're not going to get that one denied. Myrtle Beach had a 30 to nothing lead at the half on their way to beating Sakasti tonight in the Friday Night Rivals game of the week. 37 to nothing as the Seahawks go to 2 and 0 on the season. The Braves uh, still searching for that first win of the year. Turn the page to next week. Number one heading down the road to Carolina Forest. We've already talked about that a little bit earlier in the show. That will be the ABC 15 end zone game of the week as Luke Doty goes up against Mason Garcia. Two Division I quarterbacks going toe-to-toe -to -toe next Friday night. Sakasti, they'll head up to Little River to take on Matt Reel and his Chiefs, third-ranked Chiefs, as a matter of fact. And that will take place a week from tonight.